I've just implemented full text search powered by Algolia to my course platform called Boolean Art. And in this lesson, we will look at what the user experience looks like for such a search, as well as how it's implemented in JavaScript. So let's go. We have a search button, which is a part of the nav, which is included in the root Next.js layout. Clicking it brings up the search model and moves the focus to the search input, where you can type something that you want to search for. For example, here we are searching for things that contain the word map. Now the search index that we will look at contains a number of different types of items and one of them is titles. The top results are being selected based on the course or the lesson title, followed by search results which are matching based on some item in the description, followed by search results that are selected because of the mention of the word map within the transcript. You can navigate the search results by using the keyboard with the up, down, escape and the enter key, as well as by using other methods, for example the mouse wheel and the mouse click and selecting an item will take you to the lesson which contains the matched content. The first step of implementing such a search is to take the content and add it to a search index inside of Algolia. So let's take a look at how this works behind the scenes in Boolean art. Before we start dumping the data inside of Algolia, we first need to look at what the individual items within the search index are going to look like. This is the entire definition of the search index for Boolean art. Now Algolia has a 10 KB limit for an individual item because of which we need to split an individual search result into its title, description and transcript. Now we only want the search result for a particular lesson to show up once, which is why there is a group ID that will be shared for all of the individual items. For a given group ID, there will be different results for the title, the different portions of the description, as well as the different portions of the transcript. Now the JSON file that we will generate will simply consist of items of type lesson index item, we loop through all of the courses and the lessons in the courses. And first up, we create a title index item, which contains the course title as well as the lesson title. Similarly, we store the lesson description portions into different results, as well as different transcript items into different results. Finally, we write out the JSON file containing the index items in a location that can be protected using basic auth and the password will only be known to Algolia. Now that we have a JSON file that contains all the information we need to search our content, the next step is to configure a connected task within Algolia to read this JSON file and put it into an Algolia index. These tasks can even be scheduled and I have two tasks over here. The first one is on demand, which takes my content from my local machine and pushes it to Algolia. And the second one, which is scheduled to run every day, which picks it up from the production booleanart.com and then does the same thing, placing it within the lesson index. Now that we have successfully generated the search content JSON file and created a task to load that into the index, let's take a deeper look at how the index is configured inside the Algolia dashboard. The first step in configuring the index is to select the searchable attributes. And here we are simply adding the attributes that we want to search. More importantly than this is the ranking and sorting where we define which attributes we care more about. Here you can see that we care most about the lesson title, followed by description, then the transcript, and finally the course title, because there will be lots of lessons with the same course title. Now remember that we mentioned that we don't want the same lesson to show up twice within the search results. Well, that is configured using the search behavior, deduplication and grouping. We set distinct to true for deduplication and select the attribute group ID to make sure that the lesson shows up only once. Now that we have a fully configured Algolia index containing the content that we want to search on, the final step is to build a search UI that displays the results to the user based on their input. Now this is extremely easy with Algolia thanks to a library that they call Instant Search. And there are versions of this that exist for all the popular frameworks including React. And that is what we used on Boolean Art. So let's take a look at the components that were used to build the search that we saw within the website. The first one is the search box and this is the component where the user types in the words that are used to perform the search. The next component is the hits component which is used to list out the hits that are found based on the user input. And a key thing to note within the hit result is the highlighting of the reason why a particular item was matched. And shockingly the component that is used for this is called highlight. So to summarize we have the search box, hits and highlight that make up the search UI. And that's all you need in order to implement full text search for your content website. 
If you would like a specific deep dive into the React code from Boolean art that renders out these Algolia search components, leave a comment below, drop a like, and if there is enough interest, I'll be sure to cover it in a future lesson. As always, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.